Hello, Walloon State School students. This is Mr. Chiodo here. As I mentioned earlier in my dance and drama lessons, um, your lessons are going to be team taught, which means I will have you for half an hour and your classroom teachers will have you for half an hour for dance and drama lessons. So the rules and expectations that I have for you when I have you for teaching are the same rules and expectations that are to be had for your classroom teachers as well. Today's lesson, we're going to review what those rules and expectations are and see how that plays out in both the drama classroom and in your own classroom with your classroom teacher. All right, let's have a look at this now. So remembering what Mr. Chiodo's rules in the drama room are, they are work hard and play hard. What I want you to do now is to pick a partner, turn to the person next to you, I should say, and you have 30 seconds to discuss what you think work hard means. Your time starts now. All right, now turning to a different person next to you or in front of you or behind you, I want you to talk about what you think play hard means. Off you go. All right, well done guys. All right, um, when your classroom teacher tells you to um, pause the video, your classroom teacher will pause the video and you can share some of the answers that you've shared with your partner with the rest of the class. All right, now that you've discussed what work hard and what play hard means, I um, want you to think about how that's going to work in your classroom with your classroom teacher. Again, turning to a partner, you have about 30 seconds to think about what that is. And um, then you'll discuss it as a class. Your time starts now. Hold that thought for just one moment, please. I'm back, sorry about that. I just had to tell my children off about something they weren't supposed to be doing. Yes, recording on the run. That's always fun. That rhymes. Anyway, um, so now your teacher's gonna pause the video and you can discuss about what work hard and play hard is going to look like in your classroom. Off you go. Great, now that you're on the same page and know what the rules and expectations are and how they're going to be play out, played out in both classroom environments and for me and your classroom teacher, let's have a look at Mr. Chiodo's big rocks and how they're going to play out. All right, Mr. Chiodo's big rocks. We've got Disrespect towards self and others. We've had lengthy conversations about what it means to disrespect yourself and others already. 
Also, don't disrespect towards your own others and school property. Again, we've discussed that in detail with me in my own drama classroom. Yes, sweetheart, you can have an apple. Um, those big rocks are the same. And I'm sure your classroom teachers have got their own big rocks as well. Those are still applicable to your classroom. But when you're doing my classes, these two are particularly important that you don't do this. Dance and drama is a chance for you to express yourself, to be able to be vulnerable and be out there and showcase your talents. And it is not okay if anyone is putting you down or if you're putting yourself down because you're not grasping any concepts as quickly as you'd like, or you're not as good as what the others are in acting and performing or whatever it is. Everyone is doing their best and you need to be proud of your own efforts. So don't disrespect yourself. Don't disrespect others. This, this um, respect towards your own others of school property thing is essential too, because you may want to use props in your classroom. You want to be able to look after your classroom. So don't do anything silly in your performance or in your acting or in your dancing that's going to inadvertently destroy something. The irony here is you've got cartoon Mr. Toyota here getting, growing off at someone for wrecking school property and he's doing it himself. Yeah, not cool. All right. <clears throat> the magic three obviously still applies. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Am I back on? Am I back on? Okay, good, good, good. Far out. Let's Okay, share screen, magic three. Okay, obviously the magic three still applies. Um, you'll get a first warning in the classroom, second warning, and then third warning, you take your five minutes in whatever space your is around in your classroom where you take your five minutes, then reflection room and office referral. But it was not gonna get to that stage, are we? No, no. Uh, very rarely have I had to send someone to reflection room in my own classes for music. So I expect you guys to have full participation this time around for dance and drama as well. Okay. The next few clips that you're going to be seeing are a few scenarios. They're going to be examples and non-examples of what to be doing in the dance and drama classroom. Okay, um, your job is to guess which one is the example and which one is the non-example in each of the following scenarios. We have a guest performer with us to do these video clips and that would be Mrs. Teodo. Mrs. Teodo is going to help me demonstrate these examples and non-examples. So I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you pause at the end of each scenario and discuss which is the example and the non-example. All right, here goes. Don't you throw that in the drama room. Don't you, don't, no. Don't, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know we said like we were working together for our drama performance, but we're not doing that anymore because like in the lunch break, she called me a booger brain and and that hurt well, my feelings, so we're, well, we're not you, friends anymore. Well, so. you are, because you're taking stupid videos of me, and so, you yeah, know. Yeah, so we're not working together anymore. No. Can I be in another group? Yeah. What he yeah. said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that I called you a booger brain at Playground, so let's just put our differences aside, and, and we will work together. I'm okay with that. Okay. So let's get back to work. All right. Painting my ears, that sounds terrible. What was that? I said that sounds terrible and you're hurting my ears. Oh. What was that?
Yeah, you just go and do the whole planning thing and I'll just sit here and read a book. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Maybe we should do some pirouetting and twirling and add a couple of dabs and some flossing. Yes, yes, I think let's do that. Let's practice it. Okay, how did you go? in guessing what the example and the non-example is. Well done, guys. I look forward to seeing you guys next week when we start our lessons in earnest. Until next time, bye for now. Oh, a huge thank you to Mrs. Teodo too for stepping in there, even though she was a bit reluctant to do so and put her on the spot pretty much. Um, thank you. I love you. Thanks for your help. And yeah, you'll have some more guest speakers and actors in the next tutorial videos too. So stay tuned for that. Bye.